ye to my the whole gun as say offense no was rubrota congrats thank you very much thank congrats thank you very much in fact and you be think come extensively because uh, before your appointment no na gana for be be enim ni pa o ye any the type of culture we ye and the and pay ye be ye a lot of time pa ye be to e bo ase na ya kom na ye hu ye pa but ye be ba tournament no so before that grand mami misa o say ye ka say desmond desmond of a tell us something small about o wan ka sa o ye hwan him for now she school i say o mami free him papa can no sem ka kra e che na gana for until unka um yeah me fi mount mount poi crap him um I was born and raised there till when I was 12. Uh midi 12 years na me call um Belgium. Okay. Uh mommy, na mommy to Belgium and not even by Belgium. So I studied in Belgium and um my dad around that time no. Um went to the UK. Okay. Um fast forward um tried a career as a as a professional player but due to injuries you know, meant to me and play on the highest level um i studied um so when i got injured um i came back to belgium so i was in england for a bit and i'm about back to belgium so maybe about belgium i miss you sports management okay um in bruges um so after that um i had different opportunities uh in scouting okay in management um but eventually um i started coaching uh in a club called uh Lokrin. Okay, Lokrin, yeah. Yes, sporting mm. Lokrin. Started with them uh, with the under 12, um, all up to the senior team and then and a team to call bankrupt. Um, so after that, um, managed um, to go to Portugal um, for a bit. Uh, in between, I was also in Nigeria um, mm. helping out a very massive academy there okay. through a friend. So, of course, uh, as a young African man, you always want to come back and uh, and do something for for, for your nation uh, or continent. So uh, prior to that, you know, uh, I was in Portugal. Um, I was there for a very short period of time as an interim head coach of uh, Lusitano Sad, which was a third division side. Uh, incredible experience for me as a young coach. Um, so after that situation, uh, I had to come back to Belgium because I had an offer from Antwerp. Antwerp, okay. Uh, Royal Antwerp, uh, under 18 and slash uh, under 21 uh, assistant coach, which is a fantastic experience once again. That was only like two, two and a half years ago. Uh. Uh, after Antwerp, and then I had a, I had a call um, to come and help the nation, basically. Wow, wow, wow. <laughs> so short mm. uh, intro about about how mm. life went and, mm. and how mm. and where we are now. Before twelve years now, we call Belgium, no, we call school or Ghana, how can school be now call here? We call Caps uh, Christian Unity Preparatory School in uh, in Mampong. Mampong. Yes. Okay, and now Mampong and now what? Wow, now now we school now about football, no. Um, yes, uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. you know, football has always been a sport, exactly. Mm. Like every Ghanaian. Now, what position then? Now, me a winger. Um, also, of course, when you are young uh, at that age, you know, um, yeah, you can play any any position. Um, but especially when I went when I went to Europe, um, of course, you know, as a young young boy, when you come to Europe, your mom wants you to study. Steady. Mm. <laughs> so mm. the pressure was there to to study, but uh, of course we used to we used to play as well. And, and yeah, always as a winger, I was really fast. But Um, yeah, yeah. She uh, she stayed till I think the age of um, I would say twenty. Yeah, she was quite 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 young when she left so 22 mm -hmm. and then she left to to belgium yeah oh okay yeah she, okay she married a, a belgian and then she left uh, wow wow who related to the uh former chelsea equipment officer uh oh, your papa oh, your papa yes wow so, uh, the late uh eric um siedu mm -hmm. okay yeah um so my dad uh was actually a police officer here in ghana mm -hmm. um worked with the cid and then had opportunity to go to the uk after he served in uh, afghanistan mm. um and then around that period started as a as a cleaner um in the uk and luckily uh, because of the kind of wonderful man he is uh, worked his way up and got noticed by um, by Chelsea 
as as because he worked for a company that uh, went to clean in in Chelsea Football Club. Okay. And and the company was dissolved, but because he was uh, uh, very determined, uh, determined, they kept him. Mm. Um, they kept him there, and then from 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 a cleaner, he made his way into the academy kit manager. Um, wow! Worked with uh, Loftus Cheek, uh, Hatsune Doi, and and yeah, all these kids. So once a cleaner, <laughs> and now be here the equipment officer for Chelsea. Yeah. Fantastic. So it means that as I uh, work it down your your lineage as your papa, it was interest in sport. That is why maybe also now follow the same trend. It was funny because my dad uh, <laughs> worked for ten years in Chelsea. But they be England. Uh, I've been, uh, we never went to the stadium. I think only once. Mm. <laughs> um, he loved sports, but he was not that into into football. To be honest, it was always education. Wow. Um, like every caring father, of course. Mm. So, yeah, football. Football has always been a sports, and um, yeah, it's it's an addiction. Mm. Um, first time. Team Ben supported war uh, Europe. Of course, when my dad worked in Chelsea, it was a Chelsea football club, of course. Mm. Um, but before that, I think Man United, mm. but more of a, uh, I would say, a manager supporter than, than a club supporter. Okay. So, and what you, as you're just saying, <laughs> manager supporter. <laughs> exactly. So when Mourinho was at Chelsea, of course, I was uh, supporting yes. Mourinho. And then okay. when he went to uh, United, then I came back to United. So. Um, Especially in the job, no, you have to you have to know what is going on, um, what the modern trends are, and which coaches maybe have that uh, same understanding of the game. Uh. So, so for me, you no, know, when a team plays well, uh, yeah, I don't I don't really have a, a favorite team. To mm. With your coach in the philosophy now, now monitor. Exactly. Wow. So, who is your favorite coach? Uh, at the moment, um, it varies. Um, Deserve is doing a fantastic job at Brighton. Special, special coach. Um, it has always been Mourinho because I think he's the one that can blend uh, difficult characters okay. uh, together and, and getting the best out of uh, out of any type of uh, any type of player. So I think I think Jose. Jose. Just one, my Ghana for who the type of coach you are and uh, the certificate Okuta. Ah, and we are Jumaba, the national under twenty. Um, so I'm currently holding the UEFA A uh, license, okay. coach uh, badge. Uh, that's one above the highest. Hopefully, um, I'm going to do my pro license uh, next year in the Belgium uh, FA. Okay, uh, that's the highest um, badge, coaching badge. Uh, the type of coach I am. Um, I think I'm a flexible coach, depending on the squad and the type of team that um, I, I don't have a fixed way of working. Mm. Um, of course, we have a national DNA okay. that was developed by Mr. Bernard Lippert when he was here. So, of course, um, you have to understand football, understand the game. And the modern game is about time, space. I don't want to get too much into, in, into mm. tactics or mm. too much into details. but. Um, a uh, flexible coach, that uh, modern coach. Um, I love attracting attractive football. Uh, my teams um, has to dominate the ball. Okay. Um, and also be very organized without the ball. So a very structured team, but very uh, hungry and aggressive um, because uh, it's very important to to make sure you control the space in the game. So mm. very short, a very uh, dynamic uh, approach of mm. the game mm. uh, based on situation. So I just say um, we create where we want the space. We create the moments where we want to score. Like you know, managing the game ninety minutes with and without the ball, basically. Yeah. Fantastic, fantastic. But did you ever anticipate to say one day you come back to Ghana and save? To say the OECC. Yes, I think so because I was the only uh, black coach, black African coach in Belgium. Uh, I coached six years. On the elite highest level, highest level, more than more than six years, mm -hmm. even up to date. Uh, there's only one uh, African coach that's coaching in I think Antwerp, um, Ghent, Ghent, under okay. 16. Mm. But I was uh, I was the only one for a very long time. Mm. So uh, on the elite level. So I remember a story where um, in Antwerp, uh, only two and a half years ago, where a 12 year old um, I think Congolese kid saw me in a training ground mm -hmm. and asked me the me Ah. And I'm the, I'm the under 18 head coach, and he was shocked. It's only two years ago, you know. Wow. So um, 
Yeah, that's o that's also one of the reasons why I, I stayed in Belgium for so long because I felt I felt like it was necessary for for for, for us to represent or as an African to represent um, our own in yeah. the in the elite uh, elite level because we share clubs and I think sixty percent are all Africans in 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 the in all of the clubs. Yeah. In the, yeah so. Yeah. Um, yeah. Hmm. <laughs> Wonderful story, pa. And I no pay. And the Desmond of a head coach, ma, the national under twenty, and no pay. You know, a dim come, young come on, a doors of a and two question beer, and then them now, oh, dear. But you have the number of teams our coachy, and uh, whether a year under age category teams or coach here, mommy, and two teams, many teams, many our coachy. Yeah, so like I said, no, Mr. T in uh, Royal Antwerp, I was there for a very long time, uh, six to seven years, um, from under 12 to to the first team. Um, after Antwerp, uh, after uh, Lokrin, um, I went to spot in. Uh, I went to Portugal. Okay. Uh, Lusitano Sad, which was a third division side, so Premier, uh -huh. uh, third division side with the senior men, uh, so first team, interim head coach. Fantastic experience because uh, Ushe Sa League, you know, mm -hmm. most of the coaches uh, make it uh, to the top because it's not an easy league at all. Tactically, uh, for me, the Portuguese are, are really are doing really well. Mm. Um, so after Lusitano, then I, I came to Antwerp, um, Royal Antwerp, mm. uh, for two uh, for one one good season, and uh, now I'm here. Uh, wow! Yeah. Wow! In all the teams our coach here, you know, they're in a more better experience as a coach. I would say um, Lusitano, so in Portugal, because mm. it was a situation where uh, there was a lot of racism. Mm. Uh, we had a lot of Portuguese players, we had African players, uh, Brazilians, okay. and and they were all in different camps. Wow. <laughs> so as a coach, you had to you had to manage uh, all this. Uh, yeah, it was, it was it wasn't easy. I remember when the team uh, pro protested against the um the management just mm. a day before a game wow uh, didn't want to play it was a lot going on so yeah that was where um i always thought that i was a very good tactical technical coach but that's where i had to I had to learn to be a man manager mm. uh, learn to manage situations and anticipate and and find solutions in a very rapid uh, situation so uh, i think that's where i learned i learned the most mm. so in that critical situation you now yeah, yeah. Uh, you have to, yeah, them. you have to find a solution. You know, when when your players uh, say that they don't want to play <laughs> a very important game mm -hmm. and because of money or contract issues or whatever, you just have to find a uh, find a solution. And it reminds me of uh, the situation where uh, Chelsea was sold. You know, with Abramovich yeah. and everything, and yeah. where Tuchel has to be more of the spokesperson than than the coach. You know, so it's about um, uh, managing expectations at that moment, uh, making sure everybody's on the same page, and finding solutions. Yeah. Um, Inti. Inti. Yeah. Very well. But when you had the opportunity to come to Ghana, no? who called Pram Pram Koye Juma Kakra? Um, so the story, uh, it took us a while to find uh, for me to come because it's not easy mm -hmm. uh, to leave uh, everything you have uh, to come down. Um, but it was, a, it was a quick decision because when when your country calls, uh, you can't say no. Yeah. So I started uh, in the technical directorate uh, to assist uh, the technical director, uh, Mr. Bennett Lippert. I was the manager of high performance. What mm. does that mean? It's just mean and I share all the and up to now I still have the title. So I uh, mean responsible for all the national youth teams, so qualifications, okay. uh, philosophy, everything. Okay. So I was uh, I was there and also uh, assisting uh, Samo Bodu mm. uh, last year. Under twenty, no. And a twenty. Mm. So we were doing a lot of work uh, in the in the background, exactly. And uh, Boedu got promotion to to the local Black Stars, and then uh, the opportunity came for me to 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 you know help with the progression of the team. Mm. National under twenty at the Maui. Um, had in our year selection, who who players no one here for, and I say yes, it's hard to be wrong. Say for Kobo, send the city. So in the current state, you know, we have uh, ten football regions. Okay. Uh, in every region, we have five uh, scouts. Okay. So it makes it fifty scouts at the, at the FA at the moment. We want to expand uh, to make it ten scouts per region. Uh, but so we have scouts. So what we do is basically we let our scouts when uh, before a, 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 a tournament. Okay. Uh, prior to the tournament, you know, we give assignment to the scouts to scout all over. 
in all the regions and they'll give us a list okay. of the scouted players. Of course, also as a coach, you have to go and watch the games, but you cannot be everywhere. Mm. Uh, so we trust uh, these scouts are, have been trained from the technical directorate so, uh, and also trained based on our national philosophy and DNA. Mm. So every player, every position behind the profile is written out. Okay. Uh, a striker has to be this, uh, this tall, uh, this quick, uh, um, this attribute, you know, okay. so everything is written out. So um, for this current under 20, we had luckily uh, almost 1,300 players. 1,300 players? Yeah, that we screened. Um, so all in our system, age, position, club, uh, all the attributes. Um, we had time, we took our time as well. So it started last year around uh, in, um, uh, in uh, March. Mm. So, so we started quite early. And uh, we did our homework really well, and um, this was the best possible squad we could uh, we could assemble here. Ades no muja momo So we follow up on on those players. So we it almost took category A, B, C. Um, a meaning say you are ready for the national under twenty now, or you are national team player now. B is you have potential, but you know uh, you have to wait, and then and then and then C is okay. There's something there, but at the moment not good enough. Mm. So all these players, you know, um, they are in the system. We are following them up. Our scouts are following them as well. And um, like for now, in this current under twenty, um, we use the age category two thousand and four, okay, uh, and two thousand and five. Yeah, uh, you know, World Cup under twenty World Cup is next year, and the age category is two thousand and five. Yeah. So I just said all these 04 players, you know, they have to move on. Mm. Ideally to the under 23s, and if they are doing really well, Black Stars. Yeah. So we have a, 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 a transition plan uh, for, for all these players. So uh, we keep tabs on them, all these players, and uh, we know them really well. And, and this car the next group that, that is uh, coming to knock are incredible players. Are incredible wow. players. So yeah, wow. we have a lot of talent in this country. A lot of talent in this country. For sure. You sure? 100%. Mm. Mm. But under 20 boys here, would you move this particular tournament? You know, if you have opportunity, assess you move here, and we need the best. Now, if you say a bit me about 100 percent, yeah, we took our time. We were very diligent in our in our approach. Um, we camped also for. We started camping in uh, October. Mm. Uh, prior to the selection, we started camping in October, and. Um, we had four camping moments before the tournament. Four camp camping moments of uh, of three maximum three weeks, and then we break them, and they go to their various clubs. Okay. So we had we took our time to really assess them on every possible aspect of the game. So mentally, physically, uh, tactically, emotionally. Wow. So yeah, we took our time, and this absolutely and it proved as well. Mm. Uh, if you saw the performance of the boys now, because a good player is not only a good player on the pitch mm. we believe that um, you know being a good person or good human being makes you even a better player mm. so character is very important very important um, it's not only say winning born or now or bana or be a superstar no? mm. uh, because you know the game is not that easy it's not that simple yeah mm. so how difficult was the selection process because said okay thousand and over and uh, by nanny uh, with this shortest period of time how difficult was it for you it wasn't difficult because we had a benchmark. Luckily, um, what we did it was uh, um, Coach Zito and 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 Lai uh, took uh, the under 17s to Serbia. Okay. Um, and they did fantastically well. So and and prior to that, uh, Coach uh, Samo Boydu took the boys to uh, to Ivory Coast. There was a tournament. It was mm. a cup that we played there. Mm. So mixed of those two boys, we had a base. So okay. this was the this was the level. We didn't start from zero. And then from there on, we kept building up, um, and 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 that's why we got to this to this group. So mm. I was very fortunate mm. to have a really good, um, and w we knew what we were looking for. Okay, uh, the qualities that we were looking for, and we knew the level of the tournament. So mm. we knew, say, okay, which player had the potential? What kind of training uh, do they need to progress to make it to the to the level that we were looking for? So mm. uh, we had a plan and we had a vision, and uh, it came it came to pass. Yeah. Mm. But as a coach, a high performance coach, what do you look in for? From a player, who play an idea, no, here would move a bit more man selection. I think we have in our scouting, you have uh, four criteria that we are looking for. So, first one is uh, is intelligence, okay, uh, decision making uh, of a player. Um, secondly, it's about uh, intensity. That's key. Mm. If you look at our current under 20, you saw the games now, boy, now the intensity was really high. Too much. But when we talk about in intensity, it's not only um, physical intensity or how quick you can run or how strong you are. 
it's about mental intensity as well. So Unimbo Nibwa, can you execute on the highest level, even mm. under pressure? That's mm. intensity. Mm. So doing everything on the on the absolute high and, and, and intensive level. And then we are looking for something special. Okay. So as a player, do you have something special that uh what down for an answer uni and uni? What does that mean? Are you are you super fast? Are you super good dribbler or passer or whatever, whatever? Um, so, so we have all this cr- criteria in place mm. in our scouting, and that's where we based our selection on. Wow, yeah. wow! Working with the F, you know, I am now in Pembe Briete. Most of, especially the senior national team, any the other junior teams, you say, oh, F, you know, influence, which is for me player, for me player. What experience be in your, I mean, time year was selected under twenty, you know, F, you know, be influence, oh, friendly player, for dreams, every player, for vision, dear, those things that you saying. No, absolutely not. Like I said uh, before, no. Um, the list that I get or I got, we got, uh, was based on the on the scouts. Mm. So 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 the scouted players um, that was uh, scouted by our own scouts. So um, that's a priority. And also as a coach, when you go and see uh, players and monitor them, you feel so they can help the team. Mm. So it was it was a decision, and and and. <laughs> Uh, is a man focuser, but uh, in reality, you know, um, we just pick the best players. The best players. The best players. Mm. Um, the best players. Actually. Without any influence, Zero. whatsoever. Zero. Zero. No. Are you sure? Hundred percent. I'm a for so your cat boy. Are you okay? Um. I'm a product of uh, of Ghana. Um. Yes, Mister. Um. Ket is the one that um, appointed me and I brought me from, from Belgium because I had offers. Okay. I had a lot of uh, offers. I could have gone to Club Rouge. I could have gone to uh, Mechelen. Uh, these are all Premier League clubs in, in Belgium. Wow. And he managed to convince me. So it's not like I'm, I'm his boy, but um, he's the one that bro- brought me to the country and gave me this opportunity. So I'm thankful for that. He had a vision. He has a vision. He works really hard. Uh, there's nobody that works harder than uh, Mr. Ket Okreku. He's, in, he's incredible. He doesn't incredible. sleep. Incredible. He doesn't sleep uh, because he, he, you know, football is is our heart. You okay. know, football is is if you saw the final, uh, it's what makes us happy as a nation. Mm. So this is our product, and um, he's the one that is uh, is in charge now to make sure, uh, um, you know, that the what he says fixing the foundation. Yeah, there's a lot of work to be done. Yeah. So me being his boy, no, I'm here, I'm here to help the nation, and I'm here thanks to uh, the president, and uh, we are we are in the FA. Everybody that's there is is super motivated, okay. super hungry okay. to achieve the absolute, absolute, absolute highest for for Ghana again because we need to get back to our glory, mm. uh, glory days. Mm. And uh, because the talent is there, can Ghana or talent, Ghana or talent, but we have to do something with the talent. Yeah. And you just don't. And yes, wako wako parks, you know who superstar na ochina obo black stars. No, it's a process. Mm. It takes a while, and we are putting structures in place. And for example. Um, I don't know if you heard, but uh, in Bogatanga, we have our first um, GFA Elite Football Academy. In the Winkungu yes. um, Centre. Yes, mm. it's a Nancy Yeniskus, Eye Juma. Because you know the problem in in, in, in Ghana now, and it's a, um, you can only, a footballer can actually start playing full time or full time in a capacity in a club when he's 15 years yeah. after uh, you know when he started uh, SHS okay um, in Europe when you're five six you can start playing academy we don't have it yet mm. so we are we are missing out at least nine years of okay. development okay. time so now no, with this project we want to um, grab the boys earlier <clears throat> excuse me um, put them in our national academy and then uh, train them through our national philosophy. It's, it's the same as Clairefontaine in in, uh, mm. in France, what mm. France did mm. uh, with Pogba and all these uh, top, yeah. top 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 players yeah. that came through. Yeah. So and the president, like I said, is very very ambitious and want to do this in all, in all the ten uh, football regions. regions. But for now, uh, I think the central region, Kumasi, is the next one, and then we come to Accra. So having three mm. national academies mm. where we can uh, you know start training uh, fifty. Yeah, 14, big project, pal. It's, 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 mm. it's, it's a big project, pal. And to at the same duration, the FN Mao saying, na FN two hour can I say a bind it to you? Because when you say national teams in the I are not buying it to you. I know so who's the shirt is saying. 
No, in my case, um, I worked at, or well, I'm working at the technical directorate. So okay. I'm the manager of high performance, so responsible for all the national youth teams, but I'm also the director of coach education. Uh, so okay. when uh, Mr. Bernard Lippert left, uh, Minta co- Minta a co- and also a commenter. Co- exactly. Okay. So, so, so. Um, I'm, I'm, I'm on the payroll of the of the, the, FA. Of the FA of the FA. And the duration, how many years? Now, you a human amount. That one I cannot disclose. You cannot disclose. No. But you still say, "We bet me stay on and help develop this under 20." That's the plan. That's the plan. Long term, yeah, mm. long term project. Who mm. here mm. under age coaching? Kwan and also we bet me coach the senior level. Um, I don't understand your question. <laughs> me say under 20 no under age category to say be under 20 under 23 under 17 and unquano leveler as a coach with me a coach and i said yeah yeah through the challenge for you say desmond before the black stars of ghana ne coach here can you coach um once again we have um huge plans in okay the FA. Mm. Uh, we really want to um um, make sure say, every talent in this country gets an opportunity. Yeah. Um, our na- if our national A team should so the Black Stars yeah. should survive, uh, it will start from the junior side. Yeah. Um, I don't know if you heard, but last week now we officially have uh, under 15 yeah. national team, yeah, yeah. under 16 national team, yeah. under 17, yeah, yeah. under 18, under 19, mm. under 20, mm. under 21, under 23. Mm. So I think in Africa, I think we are one of the first, um, you know, uh, exactly mm. MA. A member association that has all the national youth age categories. Mm. So for me personally, you know, um, as manager of high performance, it's my responsibility to make sure say we have a transition from if there's a superstar in the national under 15, uh, mm. hopefully he'll make it to the black stars. So for now, my focus is actually 100% on the on the on the on the process and the, yeah. Mm. Time transition. will tell. Exactly. Time will tell. Exactly. But the body will be me a Critically, the one three and yes, the big black stars no a bobe two three matches before you call work up there. Critically, we be all in good times. In good times, very well. But do you think said the one month preparation in Pram Pram no a help a the processor amount me achieve this gold medal for Ghana? No, um, I think for us, uh, like I said, we have a very intelligent and very uh, determined president, and we started campaign in October. Mm. We knew, sir, because you know, uh, campaign in Pram Pram is not cheap. Uh, is is the cost of the FA. Yeah. You know, and the seventeens uh, were in camp, and the twenty were in camp. Uh, the princesses were in camp. Um, uh, so is and the. It was a lot. Even the futsal team was in camp at the, at the moment in time. So and all this is is covered by the FA, and and it, it cost a lot. Mm. Uh, food, uh, transportation, and and Can you so, uh, mm. so so we had to cut, um, you know, this period into into four pieces, like I said before. So so we took our time, and it helped. It helped. Yeah. It helped. Um, but share some experiences. Uh, more pram pram. Uh, we we'll go through. You know, some of. The- Share with us. Ne eti sain wa pram pram. Mo di di mo mo na mo how and pen for visit mo ne koma mo ti ano. Share some with us. No pram pram is our um, it's under renovation at yeah. the moment. So yeah. um, there's a new pitch that's being laid right now. There's a lot of investments from the FA that's going to is going in at the moment as we speak. So pram pram is our national um, is our national you know cent- soccer center. Uh, we have um, a chef there who is fantastic that cooks for the boys. Um, so, so yeah, it's a national center. We are there to work. Mm. Uh, we are not expecting luxury. Um, it's humility. We are. It's the national youth team. There's, there's good food. Okay. There's a place for you to sleep. Okay. And a place to train. Mm. What, else, what else do you need? Okay. So for us, uh, it's a good enough, um, you know, environment for us to focus on what we are doing and us and us and us training and us hard work mm. and and that's what uh, it's about. Mm. How many friendly games now, oh boy, uh, during your stay in Pram Pram, now they prepare for this tournament? Um, so the last phase of the tournament, we played uh, uh, four games, uh, for five games, sorry, uh, before the tournament. So we, we managed to play almost all the big uh, clubs in uh, in Accra and around Accra. Um, we played uh, Heart of Lions, uh, we played uh, Great Olympics, we played Hearts, Hearts of Oaks mm. uh, before and then uh, Akosumbo, mm. uh, Crystal, Crystal Palace, Palace exactly, yeah. we played them as well. Um, so yeah, and then when we went to um, Cape, we went to Cape Coast for one week yeah. um, before the tournament and we played also uh, Vipers, we played Vipers, Vipers yeah. and uh, mm. Dwarfs as well, so yeah, six, seven, five, six, seven. Mm. Yeah, the impact and the contribution of your other technical staff. 
ni odate lamte ewo ho ene the ada salifu former eh uh, eh uh, i know you know yeah. it is saying o more impact behind you because i'm on for ewo session say odate is very experienced obobo na chepa but still i say mo collaboration no there's some understanding in you guys are mode eh you must say any city o contribution for you no, first and foremost, I want to I want to thank them. Uh, they were massive. They were massive. I think, uh, Omo, 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 I mean, they are all incredible coaches. Um, having the legendary uh, Neo Dati Lamte with us, you know, the name alone, mm. you know, as a footballer, when you come out, you sit straight. Yeah. Uh, the respect level is is incredible because he's also he's very, despite the fact he has a big name, he's very open, yeah. open to share his ideas, open okay. to share his uh, experiences with the boys, and he helped. He helped a lot of the boys, you know understand what it means to become a professional footballer okay uh, day to day what do you like you know your, your behavior and, and mentality um he's also a very good coach mm. uh, he's doing fantastically well with glow lamp academy uh, you know some of his boys are traveling uh, you know two three boys at least a year so so he's a top coach mm. um and i was very lucky i told i told him like you know of course uh, i was very lucky to have him in the staff with all his experience and also salifu fatal uh, took a heart of lions after i think 13 years yeah uh, in division one to to, to the, the premier, premier. Mm. Um, so with his experience in the national team plus uh, the club side uh, he's, he's a fantastic guy fantastic mm. guy and a top coach as well and i had also uh, amwako uh, isaac amwako, coach from, mm. you know uh, ex kotoko legend with us um because if you look at the our our matches we had four clean sheets yeah uh, the, yeah the keeper in the final was, was yeah. incredible so yeah. i'm really thankful i'm really thankful and i'm really happy to have this um fantastic uh you know uh, knowledgeable people around the team that helped us to mm. achieve, mm. achieve mm. the greatest thing Team motivation to say uh, normally um, you have a core major tournament. I uh, will talk about the financial motivation. You are talking about pair teams and so many others. Uh, for your team, this particular tournament, I'm aware financial motivation net to saying uh, will be uh, you sorted technically, most also uh, more you sorted financially. Yeah, 100%. Um, uh, 100 percent FA did this part, uh, the government did this part, but the focus for us was, was to achieve the ultimate goal. Mm. Uh, we're not looking at, uh, looking at any, any financial um, gains, in okay. my opinion. Uh, the boys were really, really hungry to prove something on the pitch. Okay. And that's what they did, and that's what we did. So, mm. But luckily, uh, everything, is, uh, everything is in order. It's in order. Yeah. And then I will impact it, especially in these boys, because these are the same boys that uh, be bringing out uh, the Ghana Premier League. You know? But uh, Omo born national under 20 games, uh, we see a different mentality on the field. And then I will impact it for these under 20 teams. Um, yeah, yeah, yeah. Like I said before, no, it's, it's something that's from the FA, something that we want to uh, emphasize on. And as a culture, mm. we have to change our, our culture as a nation. Uh, we have a lot of talent, but for me, uh, we are lacking intensity in everything we do. Okay, intensity. Even off the pitch. Mm. When you go to the streets, we lack intensity. Mm. And, 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 and we want to create a culture where these boys uh, can thrive on a daily so the level the standard that we set is really really high mm. it means that every day as a no 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 it's, it's every day 100 percent. okay and that's the only way uh you can you can achieve something in life in general so that's what we did and that's what we are doing also in the fa and this is our our motto where we want to create a winning environment where everybody is accountable yeah and we are very honest with ourselves okay and then we are there now and yeah yeah back at masa <laughs> and you have to sit up and and also make amends in, in so it's about creating a culture winning 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 environment and an incredible uh, high performance environment mm. where everybody knows uh, this is the target we are working for so even if there are problems cry at home and that's bothers you uh, you come we deal with it together as a family and then we move on 100 mm. percent. so okay. we created a really good um yeah high performance culture and this is what uh, like i said the president uh, stands for and that's how also the fa 